Hi, my name is Saitia Faifu. I, I do motivational speeches and I write, uh, I wrote a few books on leadership. I grew up in, uh, well, first of all, first of all, before I talk about where I grew up, I want to thank this wonderful, wonderful uh, city of Long Beach. Uh, they flew me in a few days ago and I did a speech last night. And, and Lord, this is a beautiful, beautiful city. I hope they invite me back again. You people are very lucky here in Long Beach, California. I grew up in Hawaii and my dad's from Western Samoa, so um, I wanted to basically come on stage and let, let the young children know in the audience that all, all of us has winner, an inner winner inside of us, that no matter what people tell you, that you have to believe in yourself, you have to believe in faith. About six years ago, I wrote my first book, and ever since then, I've been doing speeches up and down California and Hawaii and Oregon. And I'm on my third book now, and I just did a motivational rally in San Jose, California for 3,000 people. But when I do speak, I try to let the audience know how proud the Polynesian culture is to, to represent not only the working class community, but the professional community. My goal when I speak to students, especially high school students, is to let them know that the more you, the more you learn, the more you earn, and the more you give back in return. Never, never, never give up. When I was young, I remember I used to clean homes with my mother. Uh, as a, we used to be a janitor going around homes cleaning big houses in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I remember one day I cleaned a house. I, an older lady was home. She was very wealthy, a big mansion. I was about nine years old and I asked, her name was Mrs. Lee, and I asked her, I said, Mrs. Lee, how did you become so wealthy? And Mrs. Lee, she bent down, she looked me straight in the eye, and she said, young man, whatever you do in life, whether you're a garbage man, doctor, or you're a lawyer, you be the very best that is. That reminded me of what Frank Sinatra said. Frank Sinatra said that the best revenge in life is massive and total re revenge. So when people say you can't do it, you tell them what I tell them. You watch my smoke. And you keep on keeping on. I spoke last night and I was talking to the audience about how to be uncommon and how to pave your own path in life and to leave a trail for the next generation to follow. You don't always have to go where the trail is. You can pave your path, leave a trail for the next generation to follow. And I hope I can plant a path so that the next generation can take it way farther than I can. But they gotta see to believe. And I told them a pretty long quote, and I'll say it real quickly before I get off the stage, about what Winston Churchill, Winston Churchill once said this about never being afraid of being uncommon, and never being afraid of believing in yourself. So I hope you, the young children in the audience today, remember, believe in yourself. But Winston Churchill said this, he said that I do not wish to be the common man. It is my right to be uncommon if I can. He said, I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dulled while having the state look after me. He said, I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. So I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life than the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment and the still calm of utopia. He said, I will never cower down to any master or bend to any friend. It is in my Samoan heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to think and act for myself and to face the road boldly and to say, this I have done. So again, children in the audience, believe in yourself, never, 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 never give up. I, am, I got a few books here, I'm doing some book signings, I got some DVDs, so please, if you're welcome, support the book, support the dream, and like I said for the children, always plant flowers in your mind, or weeds will grow by default. Talofa, thank you.